I'm Ro Underwood and I'm based in Atlanta. I was struggling before taking Bookmore TV the most in the area of script analysis. Like I figured I could, I could take a script and I could see what was going on, but I wasn't able to dig deep enough to make a different impact or make a different decision. For me, the biggest takeaway was of course the script analysis. And then again, it was the marketing tool because I didn't even know um, who or what role represented. I had no idea what my persona was when I walked into the room, um, as well as what to market. So those were the, the three most important things I took away from the Bookmore TV. Now I know how to market myself, how to brand myself, how to target the interest group, as well as what roles I'm actually suited for. Um, not that I wasn't sure about what types of roles to kind of tell my agent to go towards, but I was just, it was kind of like I was throwing, I was blindfolded, throwing darts at a moving target. And then after Bookmore TV, I felt like someone had taken the blindfold off, given me focus and allowed me to hit the target that was now standing still. For someone who's never worked with Christine Horn before, um, I think her teaching style is very, very hands-on. And I say that because um, I have my degree, I have a master's of education. And I find that people think that everyone can teach, but not everyone has the ability to translate things into ways that people could understand. So what I found was that her teaching style, Christine's teaching style, was one that I could understand, one that I could apply, and then one that she kind of tested me on. So she gave me all the tools, helped me to understand them, and then said, okay, now that you have them, let me see you apply, see you apply them, and evaluated that. So I found that to be very, very impressive. And I could understand everything. I don't know whether, for me, it felt like a bunch of light bulb moments. And she broke it down into terms that I could understand and apply. I knew what objective and a super objective was, but the way that she broke it down, it helped me put it into basic terms that I could understand and actually apply and then go back and check to see if I actually understood what was being given to me. I would say that Bookmore TV was different for other course, from other courses for me was the fact that it just was, it had a wide spectrum. So a lot of courses focus on just technique. She didn't focus on, Bookmore TV did not focus on just technique. It focused on the whole actor. So instead of just giving me, okay, here's a scene, this is what you do, let's see what the end product is. She gave it to me from the bottom up. So we started with the foundation, meaning you're an actor. This is the basis of who you are as an actor. This is how you see yourself, how the market sees you. And then now you have a script. How do you apply that to the script? And it went step by step by step. And I think it was tiered rather well, um, especially the, the final activity where we had to take the script, do the script and wait for our feedback. And the way that the feedback was given to us, you could actually see how either you got something or didn't get something. And then she explained, okay, so you didn't quite get this, but this is a possibility. So just take a look at this. So I felt as though it was honest feedback. It was an honest module and it gave you things that most people don't think about both the business size and the acting size. And then the person side before taking the course, I was very confident that I could book a co-star role. Give me three, four lines. I was in. Um, but since taking the course, I, was asked to audition for um, a recurring role. I was sent, after the audition, I was sent another role, a bigger role, and asked to audition for it and pin for it. Now, what I can tell you that I did differently in those auditions that I didn't do prior to Book More TV was, I looked at, I had a method, I had an audition day routine, I had a better way of analyzing the, analyzing the script, and then in addition to that, I knew it was a self-tape audition, both of them were. I had a different perspective, which probably gave me, if they're looking at 30 auditions, mine stood out because my choices were different and the way that I put my self-tape together was different than it would have been prior to taking Bookmore TV. And even though, like, I was reluctant to take the course because I felt like, well, if it's a beginner's course, I passed that or whatever. I learned something in every single module, even the, even if I felt like I already knew it, like the lighting and equipment, I had that. So I was like, well, I don't need that part. But even when I went back to look at it, everything was in there and some stuff that I thought I knew was in there too. For the actor who's on the fence, for me, I was on the fence, um, but I also looked at it as I could go and take a class with 30 people sitting in class in person. And by the time the instructor got to that person, Maybe I paid a hundred bucks for the class, but I got 15 actual minutes and then I watched everybody else work. And I don't know if that applied to me. The online course allowed me to take a look at every single aspect, see how it applied for me. And I had a chance to ask questions. So if I wasn't sure if this applied to me or how it applied, 
the course allowed me to ask questions once a week. So I got clarification. That's something I don't get in a regular course. You got maybe 30 minutes on the floor and then it's time for that person to move on to the next person. The module itself what didn't work that way. I was allowed to work at my own pace, meet with the group on Saturday, speak directly to her in the Q&A modules and get feedback, even if personal feedback. So for me and for those who are sitting on the fence, because I was sitting on the fence, I found it to be very, very appealing, worth my time. And I promise you that I got more than my money's worth.